continue. In a contrast, the matters concerning which the our sages said that a person who overcomes his natural inclination is greater than um, greater and thus earns the greater reward refers to the mitzvahs that are requ um, required require obedience. For in truth, uh, had the Torah not not be forbidden, for had the Torah not forbidden them, they would not be considered evil at all. For this reason, our sages said that the person should continue to desire them and should feel that uh, that the only uh, thing preventing him uh, is is the Torah decree. It's very very interesting approach, and we're going to explain. <coughs> Um, so one more time in a contrast uh, the matters concerning which the sages said that the person who overcomes the, his natural inclination is greater uh, and thus earned greater reward to uh, refer to mitzvahs require obedience so all of those mitzvahs all, all sages say uh, the, the bigger test the, the bigger is uh, inclination the bigger is reward that's uh, what all sages say so philosophers say no. If 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 he has no desires, that's uh, that's the best. I would say just uh, no. They they say if uh, if somebody has desires or overcomes, he, he has a greater reward, right? And uh, and all of these things that they are not bad in uh, by, by nature, right? Uh, uh, for for example, if a person did not pray or I don't know, that did not put fill in, for example, or other like. Or did not, uh, or he, he, he wants to eat uh, meat and milk to, to together, like uh, the whole world eating it together, right? That it's absolutely normal for them. So, but so these things, uh, whatever a person wants to do, or that, right, which is forbidden by, by the Torah, uh, are, are not bad uh, in in the uh, in the essence. They're not bad for other people, right? Uh, for in truth, the Torah is not forbidding them. Had the Torah not forbidden them, they would not be considered evil at all. So, as, as we said, the whole world is doing this, and, and we don't consider these people evil who eat the milk and meat together, right? Or eat the pig, right? They're not evil. And for this reason, our sages said that the person should continue to desire them. So, it's very interesting. So, it, the, the, don't say disgust it. So, say, I'm not going to eat it, right? Desire them. And uh, he should feel that the only thing preventing him uh, is a, is a Torah decree. So if he said uh, it is uh, it is very disgusting, this uh, pork is very disgusting, and then he said, look, I disgusting, I, I want to vomit, but let me try this uh, this piece of pork, not so disgusting. It smells actually very, very nice. So let me try, right? So if uh, if the only barrier that he had, that it was, uh, he, in his mind was very disgusting, it's going to be broken down like very, very fast. Right, but if he says, "I know it is uh, delicious because other people like standard line to eat it," but but I'm not going to eat it because Hashem said so. So that's a different approach. Any questions, by the way, on what we said? Somebody. Okay, no problem. So we continue. Um, real, realize the, the greatness of the of their wisdom. By contemplating the example they gave, uh, they did not say that a person should uh, not say it is impossible for me uh, to kill, right? Or that uh, it is impossible for me to steal, or that it is impossible for me to lie. But that, uh, but what can I do, right? Instead, they quote um, the quote uh, mentioned mitzvahs that uh, uh, that all require obedience. An avoidance, uh, the avoidance of milk and meat, burning sharpness, forbidden sexual relations. Right. So obedience meaning that uh, you you bend down your will and uh, and you do what Hashem wants. That's uh, called obedience. Right. Not again. It's it's not because somebody is suffering. Right. Uh, it's it's not stealing. Okay. If if uh, if we steal, so somebody is going to lose. But if we eat uh, uh, milk and meat together, who who is going to lose? Uh, so I bought kosher milk. I got I, I got uh, kosher meat. So who who is going to lose? You understand? So the only uh, reason we don't do it because Hashem said so. Okay. So let's do this uh, paragraph one more time and we explain further. Realize that the greatness of the of their wisdom, 
meaning our sages, by contemplating the example they gave. So they gave only these three examples. They did not say that the person should not say, it is impossible for me to kill. So of course, uh, anybody can kill, like uh, even accidentally, in, even sometimes you're angry with somebody, you, you want to kill him in the spur of the moment, maybe push him, push uh, somewhere, like uh, throw something into the person, right? <laughs> Uh, or that uh, it is impossible for me to steal, right? Which is not true. So I mean, maybe if uh, nobody would see that you, you would take something, right? Or that it is impossible for me to lie, right? Also not true. People lie very often. Uh, but what can I do? What what can I do? Meaning uh, uh, that, that uh, my father is in heaven said uh, told me not to do it because people usually like normal people don't, don't have tendency to kill somebody right maybe, maybe honestly like uh, uh, maybe it's like emotionally for for one second you, you want to kill the person but otherwise like you you would not it, it was only thought for a few seconds that's it instead they quote in um, they both mentioned mitzvahs that all require obedience right uh, the avoidance of milk and milk, wearing sharpness, and uh, for forbidden se sexual relations. Okay. So forbidden sexual relations again, like uh, for for the whole world, there is no problem for for for, for a non-Jews, right? That they they don't need to get married. So uh, their marriage is uh, their agreement to live together, men and women. So even though they met today. Uh, they, they they go home together and uh, and they're married until they decided they no longer want to want to be together. They don't need to uh, to get official uh, married. That that that's that's uh, the marriage. But for a Jew, it's uh, it's not like that, right? So for for him, it would be forbidden uh, relationships, right? Uh, that's uh, that's contrary to, to the whole world. Okay. So so for when. When, when we say for forbidden sexual relation, it's not like he, he's like a uh, incest only, right? It's not. So continue. Um, next paragraph. This mitzvahs and the like are called hukim, decrees. So the decree meaning uh, there is almost no explanation, right? Um, about which it is said, is okay, Talmud Yoma, these are decrees that I have established for you you have no permission to query them, uh, query about them. Then uh, nations of the world dispute them, and Satan uh, accuses concerning them. Uh, for example, the red heifer, and the goat sent to Azazel. The commandments uh, that the latter thinkers refer to as rational are called mitzvahs, mitzvahs by our sages. Okay. So let's try to understand this piece. Okay. Um, this mitzvah uh, and the like are called hukim, decrees. So decree of the king, we, uh, when uh, when a king uh, t uh, tells you to do things, so you, you don't question why. Maybe maybe you have second opinion. Maybe you, you're against it. Maybe you're not comfortable. So if you're not comfortable, you don't want to do it. So they, they kill you. It's very simple. All right? Uh, whoever does not follow the order of the of, of, of the king is considered to be a rebel against the king and uh, there is a death penalty according to the Torah. Okay, so one more time. This, uh, this mitzvah um, and the like are called Hukim decrees about which it said, these are decrees that I have established for you. So Hashem said, right, these are decrees established for you. You have no permission to query about them. So once, um, uh, like, uh, Um, once a person start querying things and uh, which uh, in, in which he has no no understanding and there are many many arrogant people who said that it does not make sense or what are uh, even simple things right so we made a clip about uh, um, gambling right and 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 we said that uh, whoever is gambling so he steals from another person why in simple logic I also just explain because other person does not want to give it to you, right? Even though you you said the down to play cards and uh, you agreed on the rules, 
I don't know the, the rules, but whatever rules are. So if you have this card, so you win. If you, you he had uh, that card, he win. No problem. So, but uh, when when you lose and he takes your money, so you, you feel bad. It's like uh, you don't want to give your money, right? You in some in some sense you feel like uh, it is uh, is a taking away from you. So it's like stealing. So we of, of course we explain these sources, and uh, there are a few clowns that say. Uh, uh, this logic is not uh, is not attainable. Like, <laughs> like, like uh, so stupid people. I I told them it's uh, it's a lot logic of the Torah. Like, uh, we don't care about your understanding or not understanding. If you don't understand, maybe you're a little slow, right? But uh, but it's it's a logic of the Torah. But uh, if person like that start creating a shotness. Right, uh, and he's, he's, he would say, "What is it? What does it? What difference does it make?" So you have uh, linen and wool together. What is the difference? Uh, this is good material. This is good material. So it's like, uh, and uh, they, with their um, with their rationale, that they're going to to stop all of the mitzvahs for sure. Right. Continue. The nations of the world dispute them. Right. So they they, they make fun of us, just so you know. Right. Uh, dispute them. And the Satan accu um, accuses concerning them. For example, red heifer, right? So uh, red red cow. So what, what is the problem with red cow? So it's it's not logical. What, what is not logical? So the the ashes of uh, red cow mixed with water were sprinkled on the people uh, who were in contact with the, with the, with the dead or who were um, like uh, other level uh, other other ways of contamination. And this water, it's like purification water, would make them pure. Very simple. But um, but at the same time, people who are uh, involved in preparation of this water, of this uh, ashes of the red cow, they they themselves were, became impure, right? Even though they, they start doing them, uh, had to be pure when they would uh, be involved, right? You, you have to, of course, you have to kill the cow. You have to burn uh, burn it, make make ashes. Right, then they do mix and stuff like that. You have to carry this, uh, the this container with uh, with ashes, with with water. So all of this, uh, all of these people who are involved, they were uh, impure. I think even if I remember correctly, even the person who was sprinkled. So how is it possible? So he sprinkles on other people. He make everybody pure, and he becomes impure. How is it possible? Does not make sense. Of course, that's what uh, this. Uh, uh, nations of the world said, uh, whatever you taught is not logical, and I'm going to prove you, and that's uh, one of the proof. Or second one, right? The goat, uh, the goat sent to Azazel. So Azazel, it's uh, like uh, this place in the desert, and uh, in some sense, it's uh, uh, it, it was sent uh, to Eitzahara, right? To bribe Eitzahara, demons and stuff like that. So uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into details. Read what Rashi said, what Ramban said. It's very interesting. So and uh, so, how is it possible that on the holiest day of the uh, of the calendar, the Yom Kippur, we send this goat to to the demons? How is it possible? Like it does not make sense, right? So, are you with Hashem or are you you with Hashem and also you want some uh, uh, some help from from the demons, right? So that's uh, what the nations of the world come and it's a harrow of uh, like ignorant people would say, right? Very interesting, right? So, but uh, Hashem said, "Send to go to Azazel." I understand. I do not understand. Does not make any difference. So, what I know that this, uh, um, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, the goat sent to the Azazel is actually uh, help with the sins of the all the whole nation. Right? That's what I care. Okay, continue. The commandments uh, that uh, later thinkers. Refer to rationale, are called uh, called mitzvahs by our sages. So rational uh, meaning that there are explanations for for this uh, red heifer and as they go to the result, there is no explanation. Okay, so maybe for eating kosher, they say maybe it's healthier. Maybe shkita is uh, um, uh, the kosher shkita is better because. Uh, uh, the animal is not, uh, it is not enough time for animal to get scared, to, to inject uh, um, like bad stuff in, into the blood, like uh, this uh, um, 
this uh, natural reaction of the animal. Okay, so but uh, right, so you, you can always uh, find rationale about the, these uh, mitzvahs, but not not for those who came. There is no rationale, be, be, except uh, that Hashem said so. Continue next paragraph. With the above, we have explained that the nature of the sins concerning which a person who has no desire for them will be more um, is, uh, esteemed than the one who overcomes his desire. And the nature of the sins so where the opposite is true. The nature of the sins where the opposite is true. Okay. This is the magnificent, magnificent point and an impressive resolution of the two approaches. A careful look at the terminology used, uh, used also indicates the correctness of the explanation. This concludes uh, the contents of this chapter. Okay, so let's uh, do this uh, piece again. Um, and we're going to explain. With the above, uh, we have explained that the nature of the sins concerning which person who has no desire for them will be more esteemed than the one uh, who overcomes his desire. So it's uh, going to to the beginning of, of the chapter. Uh, when we say a person who does not have desires, is, uh, will be more esteemed, right, uh, on a higher level, spiritual level, than a person who has these desires. Even though none of them uh, act on, on their desires, but one does not have and one was working on, on desires. Right? And the nature of the sins were the opposite, uh, one, seven, 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 overcome his desires, and the nature of the sins were, were the opposite is true. Okay. This is a magnificent point and an impressive resolution of two approaches. Right? Uh, and a careful look of the terminology used, uh, used also indicates the correctness of the explanations. This concludes the contents of this chapter. Okay. Mm -hmm.